have a requirement in my all of my courses that they do some form of a hands-on research project that's an independent investigation of their choosing. And we use that as the starting point for developing them further in their own interests. As part of the Physics 3 courses, most of the class was about sound and light. And so I found out about acoustic theory and I started reading research publications about wave theories and acoustic levitation. And that's when I um, proposed it to Tom to start um, beginning some research work in that area. We're doing an acoustics levitation project and usually what you have with that is you'll have droplets levitated in the air. But what we're getting differently is we're seeing a uh, disc suspended in the air instead of droplets. We think that it's caused by interference of the waves from the end of the transducer and the waves created inside the transducer. Uh, what we're hoping to prove is whether we can levitate without a reflector or whether it's required. Right now, we uh, think that we don't necessarily need one for levitation, which would be something uh, pretty significant. They don't know what the answer to their problem is and they have to follow a path and try to figure out what that answer is. And so in that sense, it's a genuine or original process of discovery and you know, following a pattern of scientific discovery. They're, they're taking something they love and enjoy to begin with and then they're looking at the physics that's in that and, and accomplishing really spectacular things. We definitely have um, a lot of surprises in this experiment. Um, one of them also being that there are some very, very small uh, water droplets that are orbiting like in a sphere uh, right around the perimeter of the transducer. And we haven't been able to fully um, you know, understand what's the causes of these orbiting droplets, but there are many that are formed and are just or orbiting, you know, um, around that first pseudo-stable disk close to the, closest to the transducer. Only in that region are we able to see these um, orbiting droplets. So it's um, an interesting phenomenon that we're, we were able to find, and that's definitely an area that we plan to focus more to understand um, what's the causes for that. Having this type of work makes me feel like it's already a job, you know, and that I, I can see good results and that this can lead to something even bigger, you know, that I can share with the rest of the world and it can be something that can be useful. So undergraduate research is not something you see too often at a community college, but it's something that uh, has helped me uh, decide that I, I really would like to pursue it. And I think Edmonds Community College is uh, very responsible for that. Mm -hmm.